Well, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, depending upon when you watch this video. <clears throat> if you're saying to yourself, man, that guy looks tired, I'll explain it in just a few minutes, but welcome to um, Weekends with the Wingman, if you will. Uh, I had a, a long night, and I don't feel like don't feel like doing this video this morning, but my, my wife said, hey, you promised you'd do it. You'd at least try. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, in this video, I'm going to probably do a little bit of rambling, but uh, first off, I want to tell you, the, you had a lot of people say, well, how come you don't have any whiskers? Or how, don't, how come you had a beard and then you don't have a beard? And So here's the story on that. It's when you get old like me, it is uh, uh, what you start seeing is all kinds of hair grows in weird places. And uh, uh, you get moles and bumps and spots all over your face. And so I had this spot that was on my lip. And uh, it had been coming on for a while. You know, it's darker and darker and darker. And um, I had gone to a dermatologist a few years ago, and I hated the experience because they looked at the lip, which was what I cared about. And I had a mole on my back. They took that mole off. Uh, but they tried to upsell me on everything. I mean, there were three women in the room, all beautiful women. And uh, one of them was the doctor, and the two of the other ones were salespeople to try to beat me up with their good looks and all their products to make my face look younger. I said, you're wasting your time. Respectfully, you know, I, I'm all I want is I want you to tell me that this thing's not going to kill me and take that mole off of my back. So fast forward to recently. Uh, I had to go back to the dermatologist. I'm not going to go back to the one that I went to. And I went to a new one. And what is it about dermatologists anyway? The ones I go to, they're all beautiful people. I mean, really, not just, oh, he's just saying that. No, they're they're beautiful people, beautiful skin. And, and they don't look, you know, plasticky and all that kind of stuff that you see. They're just beautiful people. Anyway, so I go to the dermatologist this time. And they said, okay, this is, uh, I don't think this is anything to worry about. But they're going to laser it off. And it was stinky and nasty and, and raw for several days. But then she goes, she grabs this little bottle and she starts squirting. She shot me 30 times on the face and neck with this, uh, the I guess the liquid nitrogen, is it? And froze these spots off of me. And she said, now you don't shave, don't, don't rub your face or else you'll, you know, cause those things to come back or whatever she said. So I, I said, okay, I'm not going to shave. Within a couple of days, I'm telling you, I look like a pepperoni pizza. They were just bloop, 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 look like, like I was in high school with acne or something. But so that's the reason why I had a beard. Uh, and yes, I did shoot some videos and got a little bit ahead on, uh, you know, because I knew I was going to be going to the doctor. I knew they were going to be at least taking care of this thing. So, um, so far, I think I'm going to be in good shape. Not going to go back to the dermatologist for a while. But if I ever start growing a beard, you'll probably know why. All right, so what does a, I don't know, what is a celebrity? Not that I'm a big celebrity, but what does a quasi-celebrity do on a Friday night to go out and really tear it up? Well, let me tell you what this quasi-celebrity did last night. Uh, we stayed at the house, which we love to do. We, meaning my wife, me, and our three dogs, our children, our three little four-legged ch children, and we played board games. She opened up a bottle of wine, and we put these things to the side and never even looked at them, and we played this board game called, um, <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, Rummy Cube. Rummy Cube. And uh, it was fabulous. It was so much fun. And she spanked me like a, you know what, she just beat me every single time in this game, and I'm a very competitive person, but I enjoyed Spending the time with my wife playing an old-fashioned board game. Do you guys do that? Do you play any board games? I don't do it very often, but I'm telling you, as I'm playing it, and I'm watching the layout of how the game works, again, it was called a Rummy Cube, I'm thinking, this is kind of like life. It's kind of like business. You see these opportunities, and she was so good. She was incredible at seeing how you can match this number with that, move these things over here. And my mind was just, eh, just shorted out. I think I'm pretty good at seeing business opportunities. And I thought that, you know, honey, you know, I'm good at business, seeing things in business. I can't find the milk in the refrigerator. But you are so good at this. How do you do it? She goes, I don't know. It just comes natural. So anyway, 
I tell you that um, we open a bottle of wine, then we open up another bottle of wine, and we stayed up way too late. So I feel like, you know what, this morning, I just don't feel very good. Now, that said, I think I need to do a video. I'll probably do it this weekend, probably tomorrow night. I did a video this last week, and I talked about, well, I was visiting with my friend Zach Reiniger, who is awesome. He's in the RV industry. He's a sales rep. Yeah, ooh, sales. But he's an awesome guy, super smart. Did a video, and man, the haters came out. They, I, I just couldn't believe it. You know, I can be pretty a downer. You know, I can. But I think some of you guys made me feel like Zig Ziglar. You know what I mean? Y'all were really not very happy with that video. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to respond, I think. Don't hold me to it. I think tomorrow night I'm going to respond to many of your comments, not to attack you, I promise, just just to push back a little bit. And, um, you know, a salesperson, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to sell. I mean, we're all salespeople, right, in a sense. You're trying to sell yourself at church that you're, you know, probably better than you are. Uh, I know that I do that. I put on my best, my best wingman when I go to a place where I need to be the best wingman. I try to be the best wingman here <laughs> whenever I can, you know, of uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but on the weekends now, this is how I look. So, um, by the way, uh, yes, I think I'm going to continue doing this. And it was so fun last weekend. It really was because I would sit there and I would read comments, your comments, and I could, you know, have my coffee and I could respond to people. I can't do that during the week, but if you have a question or a comment or whatever, Drop it down below. I promise I read every one of them. And on the weekends, like today, if you watch this video today and you want to say something, I will try to respond to everybody. I really will. I appreciate it. It's not somebody else responding on my behalf. I wish I had somebody to do that. So anyway, tell me, you ever look like a pepperoni pizza from a dermatologist office? Have you ever felt like you were being upsold? from the salespeople at the doctor's office trying to make you something that you're not. Maybe I need to take their, they were telling me even um, the news anchors and people nowadays, men are getting Botox, you know? You think this thing right here, these should go away. <laughs> hey, when you're 70 years old, you just play with the cards that God dealt you. And that's what I'm gonna do till the end. Anyway. Drop a comment down below. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a fun weekend and that you're not dragging this morning. But you'll think about playing some board games. They were fun. And it does engage your brain. It's like, it's critical thinking skills, these old board games, good ones. So thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll close the same way I always do. I'm Alan Warren, the RV wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. And don't drink too much wine. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs>